Hi YouTube, so we've got a Pulse Cayenne today. This issue is with the park assist. So the customer says that the park assist is not working. And I can confirm that we've got no communication to the park assist. So if we try and communicate with it. It will soon come up. Yep, there we go. So it failed to communicate with the vehicle ECU. Now, there is two fuses. So, the first fuse here is number two. So that's a five amp. I've already checked that fuse and that fuse is good. And the last one is 53, which is another five amp, which is also good. So, to get access into the parking aid module, or the park assist module, it's this little module here. So, you just need to remove the cover there and lift this sort of inner lining out the road. And there we are. And it does look a lot of moisture is on top of there. So, what I'll do is I'll get that removed and I'll show you what it's like. You've got the wee little push clips there. So just get a set of pliers and squeeze them together and that'll release that side. So I've got the module out of the car and as you can see, well hopefully you can see all the moisture build up in there. So that's definitely been sitting in a puddle of water and looks like it's maybe been replaced before <laughs> by, the, by the looks of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart and have a look inside see if there is any corrosion that we can see. It's actually turning out to be a bit of pain in the ass to get off. There we go. So, I mean, from what we can see right now, there's definitely been water in here. You can see the water that's sitting, the residue water, you can see that just sitting on the flashlight there. And then you can see the shininess up here. So, and not to forget, you can see those resistors there that are nice and chalky. And you can see all the corrosion, eh, sorry, all the moisture and the dampness sitting there. And you can see that there's plenty of moisture sitting on that EEPROM chip there. Turning over to the other side, having a look at that, you can see that there's plenty of corrosion. So you can even just see the water just sitting on top of those capacitors there. So. I'm not even going to mess about with this module. Best bet is to get a replacement one with the same number. So I've managed to get that plug apart. Um, easiest way to do it is basically that's your plug there. So, so the easiest way to do it is I'll just plug that back in. So if you just get yourself a flathead screwdriver in that little groove, and that'll lift it up. And as you can see, look at all that corrosion in there. This one's a little tab. Just lift that up again. It doesn't take good eyesight to see. Look at all that water. 
Dear me. We'll do a follow up video on that if the customer wants to go ahead. So I'll see you soon.